All right. So um, my presentation, my science fair project, was called Astronomy, Astrology, and You. Uh, our project was on the uh, 12 zodiac signs. So, when's your birthday? Let's find out. Maddie, February 9th. February 4th. Ah, December 27th. Ah. Oh. No, no, I'm so okay. <laughs> I'm April 4th. April 4th, awesome. Well, do you guys know your zodiac signs? Do you do you know what a zodiac sign is? No. Well, according to the birth chart, when you were born kind of determines what your personality traits are going to be. You know, yeah, sometimes you can be born, you know, in between, you know, May 20th or May 21st, and you'll pick up some characteristics from a Taurus and then have some from a Gemini as well. So, you know, it depends on who you are as a person. But, and it also depends on when you report. So these are the different symbols that represent the uh, 12 zodiac signs uh, whenever they're written. Right. So you said that you were December 27th, right, Jess? Mm -hmm. So what does that make you? A, a Capricorn. A Capricorn, awesome. And Maddie, you said that you were born on February 9th, so that means that you're an Aquarius. I'm an Aquarius. Awesome, awesome. So, uh, now that we know your sign, everybody knows the equator on Earth, right? So, the celestial equator is the equator on Earth projected out into outer space. So, here's the Earth right now. And as it rotates around the sun, whenever it's right here, boop, 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 we're in Pisces right now. This line, when it's going across the sun from the Earth to uh, the zodiac sign in the night sky, is called the ecliptic. The ecliptic. So, um, all of these celestial, uh, the celestial longitudes, each of them are 30 degrees in the circle. So since a circle is 360 degrees, they all add up, obviously, to 30 degrees. Or uh, 0 to 30 starts with Aries. And as we move around the circle, each of them add up to 360 degrees. So, uh, Jess, you said that you're a Capricorn? Mm -hmm. That means that your celestial longitude is 270 to 300 degrees in the night sky. So that's how long you can see your zodiac sign in the night sky. Isn't that crazy? So now we're moving on to the different personality traits that uh, each of the zodiac signs have. So. Uh, Maddie, you said that you are a uh, Aquarius. Which one do you think describes you? Confident. Confident. That's awesome. And Sarah, you said that you were a Aquarius as well. Oh, awesome. What do you think describes you? Um, I think original. Original. Oh, I like that. I like that. And Clark. <laughs> See here. So you said that you were a Libra, right? Yes. Which, yes. which do you think describes you? Easy going. Easy going. Oh, awesome. Good stuff. Well, <laughs> Uh, as you can see, each of the signs, some of them have similar uh, characteristics, especially whenever they're the same type of sign. You can have earth, water, air, and fire. So, I can definitely see some uh, water signs have similar personality traits, and same with some air signs. But, let's see here. All right, 
Does anyone know a Leo? I know some Leos. Uh, all the Leos love <laughs> um, Well, I, one of my really good friends is Leo, and I know that she is one of the strongest people that I know. Uh, two people in my life are Cancers, two people that are very important to me, and I definitely have to say that they're uh, some of the most supportive people that I know. And not all of the characteristics are going to match who you are as a person, but I'd say that they're pretty close. And that's why people that are born around the same time have some of the same personality traits. Myself, I'm a Libra. And if I do say so myself, I'm pretty friendly. <laughs> and I'm pretty easygoing, like Clark. <laughs> So, during our presentation at the STEAM Festival, we showed uh, everybody the different uh, how to write their zodiac signs, what their zodiac constellations looked like in the night sky on our board. You can't see it because me and Jess are blocking. <laughs> but we had pictures of our constellations on there. And so each of the children got to draw a picture of what their constellation looked like in the night sky, which was a lot of fun. Here's some of the examples that we did. And uh, they also got to write at least five personality traits that describe themselves. So not only did we have that, but we had an app called Skyview. So better whenever. Oh, I have that. Oh, you, you have that? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's cool, right? Okay. But I don't so. use it really. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Only for this project. <laughs> so, okay. I want to show like the black night sky. You can see as you try to find the first things that's Oreo. So we had a big iPad for the kids to see, and they're walking around. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun, and a great example to show the kids what their sign looked like in the night sky. <laughs> 